in our Faith Promise Feeding Program. We call it Faith Promise Feeding Program because when Israel left the wilderness and entered into the Promised Land and they began to eat the fruit of the land, it says that they no longer relied on the manna, but they relied on the promise that God had for them. And in this poor area called Agdal, there's a lot of people who are used to manna. They're so used to trying to just do things and, and it be the same old, same old. There's no life in it. And, and, you know, they're thankful for it. But we believe that God has something even better for them. We believe that God has a promise for them. What we want to do is to let people know that God still loves them despite the poverty, despite, you know, making $14, $20 a month for an entire family. We want people to know that if they'll step out in faith and believe in Jesus Christ, that not only will He save them, heal them, and deliver them, but He wants to provide for them. He wants to prosper them. He wants to bless them. Give me your arms for the broken hearted, the ones that are far beyond my reach. Give me your heart for the ones forgotten. Give me your eyes so I can see. Yeah. If you'll sponsor them, we can feed one child three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, for $12 a month. That's $144 a year. Our goal is to feed 100 kids, and in the process of feeding 100 kids each month, we can also pay for the rent of our building where our church meets. We have children's church, we have a sewing ministry and all kinds of evangelistic outreaches from and it'll help pay for one staff person uh, for the feeding program as well. We have a lot of volunteers from the church but we really believe God is blessing this through uh, feeding these children and getting into their homes. We're starting to, to have small groups started in some of these areas, reaching out to the parents and the other siblings. There's a lot of great things that we're going to be able to do to feed these kids, help give them an education, and most of all, give them the gospel and watch Jesus change their life and see a new generation of young men and young women establishing the faith at a young age, breaking that generational curse of poverty and watching God just pour out His Spirit upon their lives. And we're so thankful that you're willing to pray and to help sponsor uh, maybe one child, maybe you could do more than one child. Whatever you're able to do, we're so thankful for and we appreciate it. Thank you. Give me your heart for the ones forgotten. Give me your eyes so I can see. 